quickly, look over there. It's a perfectly normal game of RimWorld happening. <laughs> I love the fact that the horse has its own bedroom. <laughs> Didn't even notice that at first, but the fact that the horse has a bedroom is really just the cherry on the cake. That or there's a single piece of inscribed wall with a mug of beer on it. No. Monstrosities. What the hell is even that? It's a legendary man chicken. And speaking of cherry on the cake, welcome to your favorite 30 to 40 minutes of each day, RimWorld. I'm so sorry if that is true. My God. If you need help, feel free to get in touch. Just not with me. <laughs> I've got time for that. You know how busy I am? I'm so important and famous. Okay, but jokes aside, there is actually a Discord help section. Uh, if you need help, like actual help, not just memes. Mama had a chicken. Your mama had a cow, except in this world, she didn't adopt them. She actually physically gave birth to them. So they're horrible man chicken mutants. What do you do, man chicken? I don't want to read that. I don't want to read. Those are the words of a madman. Rachel, are you okay? You're not okay at all. What the hell happened? So our current ongoing long-term, really, really long-term goal is to make a cat girl attack squad consisting of very few cat girls. In fact, a quarter of the cat girl attack squad is actually cat girls. So maybe we should rename it. It's very misleading. My plan is to make them the greatest mounts, the, the greatest rideable creatures possible by taking Cthulhu creature DNA, cat DNA, and combining it to make a... I mean, if it's not called Cat-Thulhu, I'm going to have to have a conversation with... Uh, the team behind Vanilla Genetics Expanded. We're gonna have to have a serious conversation. And then, of course, we actually need to get them some weapons and armor, because right now they're wearing salvaged Roman gear. It's very strange. Don't ask, <laughs> don't ask too many questions. That cat girl is hiding in a dark freezer, guzzling as much beer as possible. But we did discover quite the treasure yesterday, or at least Cthulhu did. We can now sacrifice people because we've gained so much favor and so much standing with Cthulhu that whenever we sacrifice a human being to, or any creature if we want, but mainly human beings to Cthulhu, Cthulhu can cause ships to crash down from orbit. Everywhere I look, drunk cat girls. Drunk infected cat girls. Hey, go lie down. Ooh. 400 silver, they'll send us a trade ship. Um, we need exotic goods traders because there are so many... <laughs> nope, I don't think so. Or a genetic explode would be good too. Ah, well, the fear of 400 silver was yeeted to the orbital traders sub. I like that. That's good. Now, just about every single person in the comment section yesterday said that we can get with the... Why is nobody tending to these people? Pineapple, mate. What the fuck you do? You're cooking... Sometimes I to feel like I'm losing my mind. Cannot find. What am I looking at? I understand why Sergeant Bjornsson isn't going over there because Sergeant Bjornsson is currently eating every meal in the bloody colony. What are you doing? You cook lunch. Okay. I will assume direct control. You've lost. You've lost freedom pr privileges. You've lost the ability to think for yourself. Carry Rachel. Place Rachel in the bed. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. Is it because? Nope, it's not because of that at all. I thought maybe I didn't designate that as inside the cave, but uh, I think it's safe to say I definitely have. She's just lost a damn money. Are you actually going to tend to them now? Why? Why is it doing that? Pulse charge munitions. We get pulse charge munitions. We can make really fancy melee weapons. We can make obviously very fancy guns with that. Then I think we immediately pivot into, that's right, exotic flower. Okay, maybe maybe we'll go for porn morpher. Uh, porn morpher or genetics first? Porn morpher would allow us to take people and turn them into alien girls, cat girls, ice cream girls, you name it. Whereas with genetics, we can take a cat, we can take, uh, Cthulhu. Oh, cat Cthulhu. Oh my god, you interrupted the tending to go and do a sermon. No, 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 you're gonna die. We're gonna lose Samuel, and arguably Samuel is the most important cat girl of all. Honestly, Cthulhu? No, because we've never missed a sermon. We're not gonna start it now. 130% tank quality. I mean, that is gonna fix it. I changed the uh, ideology symbol as well. It was just a kind of generic purple spiky thing. I changed it to a big green octopus, which I think is a bit more on brand. Oh, you also remember how I made NC188 uh, the brawl mind, the brawler, because she was the only cat girl we had available. And I said, oh, it's okay, we can train her. And then it turns out we couldn't train her. I must have been misreading it because clearly we can we can train her. And that's definitely what happened. I just misread it. Fine. Fine, I made it so she could train. But that's the whole point. She's going to be the cat girl leader of our our attack squad, right? I think Anaconda Bear is really going to be the muscle. But NC188 will be the brains of the operation. Now, on the subject of Anaconda Bear, I've had that just set to infinite now. So she's been making... Ooh. She needs three more. Oh, and here's some fantastic news. Craze Monkey 231 uploaded the mod to the workshop that allows you to convert other factions to your religion. So we have to capture and convert enough people, and by sending them back to where they came from, they'll convert their faction, when you've sent enough of them back, 
They'll convert their faction to the, the Watchbook Cthulhu as well. Now we can conquer the world and we can do it without riding a ridiculous SRTS ship to every colony on the planet and destroying it that way. Uh, what? Assassins have snuck into your colonist bedroom. Sarge? Miauska? Anaconda Bearer? What's happening? I think they've had enough. <laughs> they they snuck into the prison to kill my prisoners. To, to go in there and take a bunch of opium and kill my freaking prisoners. Hello? I need you to sit down. Oh, God. Sergeant Johnson. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a battle rifle. I didn't give you permission to use a freaking battle rifle. Um, Nice. Get the other one. Get the other one. Bring it down. Oh. Oh. Oh, now who's assassinating the prisoners? Tasty died of an infection. Oh, tasty. Well, that's okay. We lost one prisoner, but we gained two more. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Uh, you accidentally tased yourself? Quick, take your, take, your, take your hand off the gun. Are you good, though? Oh, that's new. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, so you were trying to what? Tend to yourself. There's something broken about the hospital. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. What do you want to do about the mutagenic ship? Does it work via radius from the ship center for, for what it mutates? Or does it just transform plants? Can we just ignore it? More importantly, do we even care a, a, about its effects on our colonists even if it reaches them? What's it going to do? Turn our cat girls into animal people? Oh no, what a shame. I mean, worst case scenario, they would stop being animal people. Um, Nada, you volunteered. She's a strange slug girl, so I'm not even sure it will affect her, but just in case. Um, she's got a furry antenna. Disgusting. You can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> oh, there we go. The first of our little Cthulhu zealots. Baldor has been converted away from star archaeodalism to Cthonian knowledge. <laughs> well, Baldor. Fellow worshipper of Cthulhu, you can go free. I might steal your armor if that's okay. Give me your clothes, then you're allowed to leave. I think that's a fair exchange. Right, off you go. How close are we? 24.02 out of 25 before we win Bast's favor. And then we can do some sort of Bast related. So it's going to be two more rituals. So a minimum of two more days and then we... Oh, sorry, maximum of two more days and then we've got it. And even if we do get a sacrifice, I guess we'll save it for whatever, whatever magic spell we get from Bast at this point, right? 6.9%. Nice. And it's time for another festival of Joris. I was just going to do an insane incantation because we're low on corruption. But bear in mind, if we get that, we get another Psy level. So let's do that straight away. And apparently we can also do an insane immolation. Oh, with the horses. I mean, we do want to make Cthulhu-based horses anyway. I presume we can't extract them for horse DNA. If not, they're getting sacrificed. Uh, no, we're good. I mean, we're good. <laughs> the horse is not... <laughs> Yes, light the horse on fire in the name of Cthulhu. Burn it. Oh, it's made of ice cream. Is that gonna work? Can you can you burn ice cream? Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. The patrons versus the Imperial in Inquisition. They're not after us. Oh shit! I thought they they sent the Inquisition after us. No, something far more sinful. Patrons, relic. Gina DeFranco. Hello, the hobo kid mark. <laughs> All right, squad, let's get on standby. It's about to begin. I want some people. A boring, insane immolation. I want to draw too much attention to ourselves, but we need to be ready to scoop up the losers. They're fighting in the old ruins. Oh, my God. They're getting absolutely annihilated. Oh! Well, I mean, it turns out Penny Royal Mint has a real chip on her shoulder. Patrons are fleeing. That's what we expected. That's what we expected. Uh, Anaconda Baron, maybe don't charge in, given that you are literally butt naked right now. Oscar looks as if he's got a shield, but he's got a uh, rain shield belt. Range characters coming first. You guys on reserve. Nice. Nice. There you go. There's one down already. Uh, just go, go Just go grab him. Grab him and carry him back. Oh, shit. They're coming around this way. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, wait there, Anaconda Bearer. Just if, as long as we're holding them, I don't think they can get back up. Wow. Oh, man. Those tasers are so powerful. Taze them. Flavius. Oh, is it Flavius Deuteronomy? Yes, Flavius Russell, don't give me hope like that. Oh, well, that's all of them. Oh, poor sweet Ron Swanson, not like this. It's okay, Penny Royal Mint's on it. And then you've got Sergeant Bjorns and the mad cat girl hunting down the survivors. There were no survivors. There were no, none are going to walk away from that. Prisoner beds, so that's a great problem to have. 
That is a great problem to have. We're going to have to throw down a few more slabs. Um, I suppose for the time being, we'll just throw down too many sacrifices, but you can never have enough. All of these sacrifices are so many resources for us. Let's try that again. Pale. Pale, not like this. Come on, come on. Another prisoner. Come on. Anaconda bear is going to kill him. Oh, there's a problem with her being so bloody strong. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Um, wow. Are they all going to survive? I mean, a lot of them were tased. Yeah, they're actually doing fine. Look. Eight conditions, eight conditions, no bleeding. I'm forcing an early worship because it might oh, just be enough to take us over favors. It was literally 0 0.1 points below that. That's incredible. Sorry, 0 0.01 points above what we needed. Right. Who is going to bass today? Uh, let's take a look. Who's, who's a viable sacrifice? Relic. Relic, I'm sorry, my friend, but you are off to the great cat god in the sky. What do I want? Sanctuary. Protects your settlement from most hostiles. No, I don't want that. Summon a guardian. Transform a beloved feline into a guardian. God damn it, we need cats. Um, feline aspect. We make our cat girls more cat... Oh, that's preacher. Okay. Um, God damn it, Bast, you suck. We can... <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. We can we can protect ourselves from raids, which is the only which is the baseline of our economy. That's how we're making all of our money. Um, sorry, Relic, you're going to Cthulhu instead. I think this one might be far less pleasant for you. Perfect. Orbits on the sanity wave to knock down another orbital trade ship. Give me an exotic goods trader. Oh, what is that? Mixed success. What the? F Scuttling, scratching sounds hail the arrival of countless rats bursting through the floorboards. My floors! How many? How many rats? Like everywhere? Oh, just in the temple. Oh, you think that's a you think that's a threat? You count that as mixed success? Are you kidding me? We just got a combat supplier that's crash landed and breakfast. And then the combat supplier. What have you got? What is that? Madness. Welcome to the house of fun. A modified portable fusion reactor used for remote scale mutually assured destruction. Uh, that's already okay. I understand. Okay, that sounds hideous. Uh, we got a Luciferium, 13 advanced components, bloody hell, fire support helmet, and prestige trooper armor. The Guild War medicine is also quite nice. Not massive, but the advanced components are really, really going to save us so many resources when we get around to building the lab. I guess we'll build the lab off of this tentacle. Bear in mind the base is supposed to be a squid, right? And in fact, the incredible artist A. Yan over in the Discord art channel rendered what the base might look like in squid form. Are you ready for this? Boom. You see that? I'll put it the right way up in a second. Just so you can... You see? You see how now it's supposed to look like a squid, huh? I mean, that was just the natural cave system, but it just matches the squid shape perfectly because we worship Cthulhu. There it is the right way up so you can you can appreciate it in all of its glory. Thank you. That's basically exactly what I had in mind. It couldn't be any more perfect. What the hell was that noise? Oh, it's the rats. They're standing on the... <laughs> standing on the traps. Oh, you're hunting them with high-powered charge rifles. I mean, obviously. Why wouldn't you? Good God, they're fast. We're never going to get any research... Did you have to do that in the temple, Meowska? Oh man, there are loads more than I thought. Maybe they didn't just pop up in the temple then. Whoops, still worth it. Let's sacrifice a few more people. That'll save on a lot of wardening duties. Goodbye, little Flavius. Not the Flavius. Another combat supply. Not a big deal. We'll still get some more advanced components. Kind of hoping we can get an exotic goods trader though. What the hell is that? Modulating DMR. Uh, that was not a very good one. Goodbye, Ron. Time for number three. Okay, we got a flash storm, but we did get an exotic ship. That's what I want to hear. Come on. Plasteel. Oh, what the hell are those things? What the hell is that? Oh, a kitchen robot. <laughs> and number four under that text box is the hobo. Goodbye, the hobo. Another exotic ship. Come on, some plasteel. Come on. Oh, it's a hauling bot. Oh, some plasteel. Shitloads of components. My God, we're going to never need components again after all of these. You know, I think the trade ships are probably going to stop visiting at the rate we're going. Uh, Musos. Goodbye. Do you guys fancy a trip to that planet where all the ships are ripped out of orbit by Cthulhu? Warrant on colonist. The Empire put a warrant on us. I may have just incurred the wrath of the Inquisition. Torture? I mean, I wouldn't count uh, sacrificing an Imperial Janissary as torture. What have you got for me? 24 more components. A <laughs> crafting base station this time. <laughs> oh god, it's the Smash Bros players. The Offender Society are here to kill or kidnap Samuel due to torture. Yeah, I will pay for my cat girl crimes. Here they come. That's a lot of people. Oh, shit. Come on, taste them faster. They're hiding behind the walls. We do need to get some sandbags on the other side just to stop them hiding so easily. Our melee characters are in there, but they're being shot by our bloody people. <laughs> Classic. Classic Rimworld. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Please leave. Goodbye. These people we might be able to convert first because we've captured so many of them at this point. I think that's another six people for the prison. 
We're never going to empty this bloody prison at this rate. Maybe we need to get Samuel some better social gear. 15% social impact, 30%. Okay, so there's no better social gear. Good God. We've got another prosthesis traded this turn up. We don't have much silver because we're trying to build, you know, like an actual hospital floor. Uh, you guys want to buy a perverse carving? <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> Ultratech power core. What the hell is even that? Ultratech animal ear. I mean, bionic cat ears could be very good. Um... Oh, it's an artificial stomach. Hunger rate times one times. Or times one percent, I should say. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, we'll take those. We'll absolutely take those. I'll trade what, whatever the hell we've got. So we can now give two people unlimited power. I mean, that is fantastic. Power per team would be so pleased. 200% part efficiency, which is pointless, given that they're into stomach. They never need to eat again. I'm going to give it to uh, Sergeant Bjornsson. I think that's pretty important. And then oh, we got like Arkutep power, Cthulhu cat girls in a cave. This couldn't be any better. Let's also give it to Samuel. Given that Meowska is just kind of sitting around all day crafting things. And these two are running around the base constantly. I'm sorry. I couldn't help but notice that Meowska is feeding an entire corpse to uh, one of the prisoners rather than meals. I presume because they were reserved for about 30 seconds. We've got another faction assault. This planet sucks. Everybody hates one another. The prison is full. The prison is full, but if we... Okay, hear me out here. Kill the Revians. <laughs> hear me out here. We're just going to go commit mass murder. Kill the Revians. We fight the patrons. We kidnap the men and we sacrifice them. Like, for example, Tits McGee, who seems very pleased with himself. <laughs> if I remove the plans for the slab beds, we can throw down a couple more and at least get some room for the prisoners, which we can drag in, sacrifice immediately, and have like a conveyor belt system going on. Come on, then. Let's tidy you guys up. Then we can actually grab ourselves some prisoners. Nice. That should get their attention. Well, I bloody hope so anyway. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, what a massacre. <laughs> Getting a little close there. Getting a little close to comfort. Hey, if you guys want to piss off. Penny where I'm in. Whenever you want to start running. You're getting a little close. Getting a little close. Please kill them. It's supposed to be melee characters. They're throwing swords at us. Okay, that's got their attention. Um, then if we hide in here, and hopefully on the way back, they'll shoot some of these guys and make the patrons hate us as well. Or maybe Rachel will just get absolutely peppered again. You suck, Rachel. Every bloody raid. Okay, Sergeant, blast Sophia in the back. Come here. Is that enough? Well, we didn't technically hurt them, so I wonder if that actually counts as... Well, I mean, surely that will make them hostile, right? Otherwise, you could just... We could just tase every bloody trade caravan that comes through. Man, go my nasty. Sit, stand down. You make a you make a fine sacrifice, my friend. Ah, Sergeant. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, well, there you go, there you go. And so the taser doesn't count as making people hostile. Well, that seems like that would be horribly easy to abuse. Ah! Why are you shooting at that one, you fool? Shoot the one in front of you. What a goddamn idiot, you stupid cat fool. Oh, Sergeant, you only have yourself to blame. You only have yourself to blame there, you absolutely idiot. Let's only take the men prisoner. Because I'm sorry, I can't fill the, the prison with any more people to spread the word of Cthulhu. There's just no room. Okay, human males. Human males. Jones is dead. Mango Manasti is alive. If we act fast, we can get ourselves <laughs> a very funny sacrifice. Go castrated. Wombat is female, but Sophia Jagajack is male. Must have been named after the original Sophia. Come on. <laughs> why, why is there so many people, though? I mean, there, there's a lot of potential male prisoners here, so I guess I'll... So grab who I can. Oh, is that what we're after? I think that's what we're after. Advanced bionics. Give me that. Optimize cat girls. Um, take a little bit of gold, given that we, <laughs> given that we get a lot of gold from space right now. For some strange reason, they just keep crashing in our garden. I've not quite worked out why. Oh, everything is so slow now. I mean, having just a just a city confined to your prison probably will do that my god now that we've earned the favor of bast i i don't know if there's anything above favored i presume there is given that it, it can go up another level right it, it's out of 42.5 what i'm gonna do for the timing is cancel all of the bast sermons we've got to start thinning out some more of these prisoners my god goodbye andrew i'm sorry okay an eclipse not a big deal but bolt goods trader show me some plasteel uh nothing of value I mean, a lot of stuff of value, but no plasteel. Oh, squint, you legend. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Exotic good ship. Plasteel. <laughs> Shit. 24 plasteel. You know, maybe one day. 41.39 out of 42.5. And now, with this... Boom. We're so close. Come on. Uh, mix success. We got Aurora... Australis. What do you mean, mix success? 
Everybody's move will be quite improved. That doesn't sound like a mixed success. Ooh. Oh, God. It's so over the top. Holy shit. That's... That's horrible. <laughs> we can have the greatest rave. And now by sacrificing little Matthias, we get chosen by Cthulhu. I think that is that of death, the final tier. Or in this case, tier final. What's your final power? Awaken Cthulhu. That doesn't sound... <laughs> I was going to say, that doesn't sound like a good idea for the longevity of this playthrough. <laughs> More Aurora and... More combat. Okay, not bad. Ooh. You converted two out of 25 of the patrons. Oh, this is good. Oh, I like that. Die. No. Oh! I. Shit. <laughs> Shit. And it was all a dream, like I was saying. <laughs> Very nice. The patrons are not happy, just as we allied with them. They have, uh, sacrificed their people again. Then finally, sweet little Chad. Double eclipse. Ooh, so spooky. What do we get? Show me. Uh, what is that? Mechanoid egg. Delicious. Make a pancake. Uh, we've got a hauling bot. Ooh, a level five cleaner. Oh, wow. Thanks, Cthulhu. You shouldn't have. And then just some, some more crap that we're probably going to smelt down. Uh, are you what? Nada has turned into a snow hare. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that's not... <laughs> that's not the best news you could have given us. I'll be honest, Nada. It's not looking good, Brev. <laughs> You're done for. Let's get, uh... Let's maybe get some snipers and maybe take that thing out. Ooh, okay. Just be careful. I mean, we can't exactly take cover, can we? Look at that horrible little thing. Going around repairing the other mechanisms. Does it repair the ship? It doesn't. Okay, we, we can't get any closer than this. This is the very outer limit before they'll start to mutate. We just have to punch a hole through the wall. Nada's back up. Great news. Fantastic. Oh, this is going to take so long. Sod it. Pineapple Mint, go. Go in. I'm sorry. If you mutate, you mutate. She's an ice cream girl. I don't see how it's even possible. Oh, I mean, jokes aside, I think she's, she is genuinely immune. I didn't know that when I sent her in, but... I mean, I, I knew that. Ice cream girls are immune to the effects of mutagenic powers. Of course, that's the case. <laughs> All right. Well, a little too late for Nada, but that'll do, I suppose. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, kill that. Get out of here. Little horrible vulture creature. Man, that's cool that they go around repairing the other mechanoids. Sorry, Nada. And now you're a delicious meal for Bast. Goodbye, my friend. Well, there you go. Did we, did we get anything from that? Uh, Bast is just a little happier. We need to do a few more sacrifices to Bast to try and get up to uh, the final tier to find out what, what Bast's ultimate power is. Now we can crunch all of these bloodstones. Eat the lot. No, seriously, go mad. There you go, little anaconda bearer. We've got to make up for Nada being lost. That's pretty nice. You can da damage multiplied. So a minus... A flat minus 20% to damage reduction is huge. I mean, it's not huge. It's 20%. It's huge when you consider that that's like... Oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, what the hell are you doing? We need to find a way to deal with all these people that we're butchering. <laughs> it's just an overflow of meat and shirts people have died in. It's like an ox fam. False charge munitions. Genetic creations. Genetic alterations. Genetic duplications. <laughs> and then it's genetic mecha hybridization. Any research that ends in shun is allowed. Everything else, off the table. Goodbye, little Satsuma. And with that, the prison is finally empty. I don't know why I didn't get a notification for that one. I don't know why. Maybe, given the amount of bloody people we've released, maybe we've converted them. We haven't. It was wishful thinking. The Oscar is the slowest crafter I've ever seen in my life. These have been queued up for about four episodes. We're, we're, we're almost, almost done. Why are you so slow, Meowska? Is it that arm? Are we getting tip text? <laughs> as long as it's just the tip. <laughs> Everything's broken, man. I don't know how to fix it. Oh, static boolean mending patches dot extra verification check bill bill thing T. Static heat if com properties underscore match JSP adjust fake community unification util. Can't believe it. I knew this would happen. I, I almost said that exact thing earlier. Oh, here we go. Charged Kopesh. Charged Katana. Of course we have to do it. 
Weeb, Psychic, Cat Girls, in a Cave, Worshipping Cthulhu. Uh, I mean, are they that good? Do we have a weapons tab in this mod pack? We have everything, but... We have every single mod on the workshop besides weapons tab, the one that I want. We now have weapons tab. Okay, melee. <laughs> uh, craftable, preferably. Melee. Uh, show me... Scythes. Oh, come on. How could I not go for scythes? What's the highest DPS? It's the katana. Never mind, we're back to weebs. <laughs> <laughs> the, look, the game made the decision for me. I will take three katanas and then one scythe for the leader of uh, the, the cat girl animals. It's metaphorical, you see, because we're going to turn up and we are going to reap. We are going to reap for Cthulhu. That's what scythes are for, allegedly. I've never been outside. I wouldn't know. I need to build uh, an advanced planet calm for Meowska, slowest person alive. In fact, can we do it in this workbench? Uh, no. <laughs> no, why would you? Why would you make Barnix at a Barnix workbench? What a fool. Is this arm better than the other arm? It's 150% part efficiency, but this one you have to build another arm to be able to make it, so you presume it's better. Um, advanced bionic arm is 135% efficiency. Like I was saying, get that weak shit out of here. The advanced components. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. I mean, on the plus side, though, counterpoint, they do fall from orbit by the dozen, so I'm not really too concerned about that one. Um, give me the spine. Give me the legs so that Meowth can, can run a little faster and craft a little faster. I haven't used the weapons tab, I'm afraid. What's the best DPS weapon we've got? DPS over accuracy. Scatter charger. Oh, that sounds fun. Assault charger also sounds very fun. Um, armor penetration? Oh, the same. That one's got way more range. We're going to make assault chargers for... Do we make everybody a separate weapon? It's always boring when everybody has the same thing, especially given how many weapons are in this pack. So I'm just going to make like... Five of those? No, I'm going to make one. We'll make, we'll make one. I want to turn Sergeant Bjornsson into a real cat girl, like, soldier. Like a proper cat girl soldier. And then we'll turn... Uh, Samuel is going to be the, the wizard. Because uh, she's the preacher, right? So we need to make her like the wizardy type character. So we need Eltex, which we should have some Devil Strand by this point. I bloody hope so, given the amount that we've been growing. Uh, we don't. We have 14? How long does it freaking take? All of this has been Devil Strand for as long as... For as long as I remember. How long have we been here? 164? That's like three years! Oh, well, like I was saying, we don't need the Eltex. That's, for, that's silly. That's ridiculous. <laughs> We got any psychic stuff? If I type in Psy, uh, psychic skull plates, I want those because those give Psy sensitivity up massively. Uh, Psy, yeah, yeah, like show me though. Um, advanced body frames, what the hell is even that? Advanced body frames, I can't even see it. Um, maybe I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's in the top right, my bad. Anima bodies, what the hell is that? Oh, that looks like anima bionics. I mean, I mean, it, it could be fun, it could be, could be kind of fun. Um, human utilization? Oh, God. It's all freaking tech prints again. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Um. Yeah, I mean, what, what's, what's going on? What's going on there, though? I, I guess you got a little bit too close to the, <laughs> the mute knight or something. Just gonna give Meowska the, uh, Arcotech course so that Meowska doesn't have to stop working for too long because Meowska is, uh, I don't know if you've heard, shit. Really just awful. Takes hours to do anything. Turns out, Meowska is mostly slime. Head is covered in a layer of thick slime. Slime th so thick that blades and bullets cannot penetrate it. Oh. Ears are covered in slime. Arms are covered in slime. One leg's covered in slime, the other's covered in fur. Oh, God. Meowska. I mean, it's it couldn't be any more perfect for simultaneous squid and cat god worship. One side slimy. I know squids aren't really slimy, but one side slimy, one side furry seems pretty good. Are you okay? Is it just Meowska? Oh, no, it's not Meowska. NC188 is covered in wool. Brilliant. And I also thought, look, we can't optimize Meowska too much right now. But we can optimize the base around Meowska to try and make up for Meowska being shitty. <laughs> Boom. Two Arco power cores. And that, just to double check. Oh, the tip. Uh, that is the one that... Wait. All right. Times 25. Wait. Arco power core... I think I've just been scammed. Wait, did I install that into the wrong person? Oh, god damn it. Or more specifically, did I install the wrong... Yeah, I installed the wrong thing. That's on me. That's my bad. Sorry, we're gonna have to pop that one out and put a new one in. No pressure. Going for stomach surgery, end up with the wrong type of stomach. I mean, it just happens. It happens. We'll give Samuel... Uh, I, I thought Miaska deserved the upgrade more than <laughs> Miaska's shit. We'll give Samuel the other stomach instead. 
then everybody gets something. And then between all of this stuff and a brand new advanced bionic arm, hopefully Meowski will stop being terrible and we can build up our melee squad. We can actually get the weapons and armor done in time. Oh, we have a katana. Wow, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. Roman armor, Japanese weapon, ogre girl. It's just it's somebody's wet dream. Somebody. Probably a lot of people. This is the internet. The bionic wind gauge gives shooting speed, and then well, let's install a hand reflex as well. I, the only problem is if we replace it with arms, it might overwrite it, but I, I suppose it's something a bit more unique. I don't just want to give everybody bionic arms. I want to theme these people a little bit, you know, make them special in their own kind of unique ways. Like Samuel having the tentacles would have made more sense because she's a preacher. We might flip over and, uh, and do that instead. We'll give Sergeant Bjornsson the subtle bionics. All the internal stuff that you'd never notice. Meowski can have all the mad Adam Jensen style bionics. You might not have asked for this, but you need it, okay? You don't have a bloody choice. Wow, would you look at that. Such speed. <laughs> <We're doomed. laughs> and this right here is going to be the site of some really unspeakably horrific stuff in terms of research. We've got gene trainer repurposing left. All of the actual lab buildings are complete. And that's what I was specifically waiting for here. We, we've got that all cracked out, all out of the way. Now we can plan it all out with everything under our belt here. Let's just throw down two big old gene vats right in the middle. And I presume at this point, I certainly hope by this point, with the amount of ships that Cthulhu has pulled down for us, we should have the resources for all this, right? You might think this is pretty huge. This was, this was kind of overkill for what we've got. There is still so much more lab equipment to get, all of which is from... At this point, Pawn Morpher, which I guess we'll start working on next, right? Because that's going to help out with, with, with turning our prisoners into uh, friends. That's the word I'm going to use. Turn our prisoners into friends. Boy, there's a lot. Holy crap. Um, I guess we'll guess we'll take it all. Samuel's already got a work cut out for her. In between the charge katanas, the Roman armor, and the horrifying Cthulhu cat hybrid battle mounts. I think we're going to have ourselves quite a little force here. The best part is the second we get bored, we can pull the plug and move on. Because now Cthulhu's willing to whisp us off whenever he wants. Well, I don't know that. I don't think we're really going to go to paradise or whatever. I think we're just going to awaken him and he's going to destroy the world and we're going to die horribly. Maybe that'll happen. And speaking of dying horribly, it's closing in on 45 degrees Celsius in my office. My eyeballs are melting out of my frigging head. So that's probably a great time to say thank you all for watching. This is the end of Cat Girls for today. Apologies about the episode not being aired yesterday. It was very busy with stuff that is unavoidable and sadly takes precedent even beyond RimWorld. Now, we are almost at the end of the uh, shout-out list. There are, in fact, 24 names left on my list today, so I'm going to shout out all 24 people. Thank you to Desi, Hudzu Wudzu, Karela, Sean St. George, Merlin, Vivi Heiter, Lucas Federchuk, The Legend Boss, Grayson Tagger, Joseph Hurley, Nick Danger 13 Tenacious Bloom, Next Dar, Scott Layton, Time Waster, Jonathan Cameron, Doug Gillen, Gwen Scanlon, TG Taps, Alec, Cosmo Senti, Esseda, Solothal, Voodoo Mumbo, Jared, and Slime Pierre as well. For their support, the executive producer tears on from Patreon. Good lord, it's warm in here. Thank you, in addition, to Tom Segovia. Shout out this name if you are a loser, dingus. Uh, Vinonia. Vionia. That's not right. Kestrian. Piggy Gamer. The Big Sneeze. Shizuki. Skizuki. Angry Ares. Christian Hernandez. Scott Dockery. Hero Club. Dundum321. Matthewson T. Tia. Ethan Hurst. Yanosh. Ahmed Zaki. Kieran Duffy, Moose the Dumb Koi, and Jose Asola. Thank you. Sorry about your names. Not in general, just about the way I say them. And I'll see you all tomorrow when I've hopefully recovered from the impending heat stroke.